have an LDIS affinity for A2. Starting at the front of the arm with the coupling head with both the levers in the upright position, it is ready to receive a tow ball like so. Once the tow ball is in place, the rear handle will drop down. Then you're ready to pull the stabilisation handle down, like so. Once you uh, are done and you want to release the tow ball, pull the first handle up, second, and the, hand, uh, the tow ball will release. Moving back, we have your breakaway cable, handbrake, jockey wheel. And 13 pin plug. Your 13 pin plug controls your road lights, your ATC, and your fridge. It will only control the ATC and the fridge if your vehicle is wired correctly. I will now demonstrate the ATC and the road lights working. To start with, the ATC. Moving up from the A-frame, we have your gas locker with space for two gas bottles, along with your bulk head regulator, which is both suitable for propane and butane. Coming around to the side of the van, we have your fresh water inlet, your battery locker with main sucker and motor mover isolation switch, which I'll come back to at the end of the video. You have your wastewater outlet, your toilet cassette, and your toilet flush fill. Stepping inside the van, we have your master switch right there. You have your water pump switch and your light switches. You also have your voltage. Before turning on the pump switch, that yellow switch will need to be in the horizontal position. Also, while I'm down here, this is the consumer unit with MCBs and RCD. It is recommended that every time you plug into a new power supply, you hit this blue button to test your RCD is working correctly for your safety. Also below that, we have your 12 volt fuses with labeling for what size fuse should be there and what it covers. Now with that yellow switch down, we can turn on the pump, like so, and we can run the water through, releasing any air from the system. This should take a few seconds on the cold side, and could take a few minutes on the hot side. Now we've got a nice steady stream, we'll need to do the bathroom tap. And then the shower. Now we've got steady streams all around, we're ready to use the Audi heating system. Turn it on by pressing the power button, allow it to start up, and you hit the menu button, top there to set your internal desired temperature. Then we have solely room heater, room and water heater, solely water heater. And then down here we have your electric, 1 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt and 3 kilowatt. And then we have your gas on and gas off. When you're done using the system, press the power button and it will turn off. We also have your free burner hob with hot plate, grill with your fan and handle, and your oven. Finally, again, we have your microwave. This works the same as any domestic microwave would. And also your fridge. Turn the fridge on, hold the power button, allow it to turn on. Then you can select either mains, gas. Or 12 volt. Again, the 12 volt is faulting because I'm not plugged into a power supply, and that, uh, the fridge will only work when plugged into a car as long as the car is wired correctly. So, back onto mains, and then we have your temperature settings there. When you're done using the fridge, hold the power button, and it will turn off. Now, the toilet flush. To use the toilet flush, press the blue button on the top there, and the toilet will flush. When you're done using the toilet and you want to release it through to the set, put this grey handle around it will release and then you can close it again. I'll now go around and show you all the lights are working. As you can see, all working. You'll also find left in the van will be a warranty cover sheet. This shows you everything that is and is not covered under your warranty. It is also worth noting that the uh, warranty is a back to base warranty, so any issues you will have to be back to the bases. I will also demonstrate the alarm working. One beep for on, two beeps for off. And I'll demonstrate the motor mover. Engage the mover, get the engagement part of the mover, bring it over into the 
rotating clamps into place. Now that the mover is engaged, that will hold the weight of the caravan, so you can release the handbrake. Turn on the isolation switch. Grab your handset. Turn the handset on by pressing the power button twice. Allowing it to connect and then you can go forwards, backwards, front end towards me, front end away from me, back end away from me, and back end towards me. When you're done using the mover, turn the handset off by two presses of the button, apply the handbrake, disengage, uh, turn off the isolation switch. And then disengage the mover by doing a reverse of engaging it. If you have any other questions about any of your appliances, please refer to the book pack as there should be more information there. Thank you.